welcome back to day 17 of love series. We're gonna start in just a regular seat. You can sit up on a block or a pillow or a folded blanket, crisscrossing at your ankles, opening up those hips, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment and let's just take a few breaths, becoming present on our mat. Big deep breath in. Empty that exhale. Big deep breath in. Empty that exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And empty that exhale. We're gonna then Open your eyes. We're going to breathe in. Reach those arms overhead. Looking up towards those hands. And then exhale. Arms come down. Chin comes to chest. One more time. Breathe in. Looking up towards those hands. And then exhale. Arms come down. Chin to chest. Last one. Breathe in. Really stretching through those sides. Look up and exhale. Arms come down, chin comes to chest. Reach those arms overhead. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist it over to the right. Left hand can come to right thigh. Right arm comes behind you. Nice tall back. Looking over that right shoulder. Take a breath. And reach overhead, deep breath in, exhale, twist it over to the left, left arm comes behind you, looking over that left shoulder, take a breath, and coming back through center, reaching those arms overhead, arms can come down, walk the right fingertips out, Left arm comes over that ear. If you wanna look up towards the sky, you can. Take a breath. Both sits bones are on the mat. Chest is open. And slowly begin to rise back to center. Walk those left fingertips out. Right arm comes overhead. You can look up towards the sky. Chest is open, both sits bones on the mat. Take a breath. Coming back through center, we're gonna walk it out to the front. You can come to your forearms. If this feels good and comfortable, you can stay here. Or if you need a little bit more of a stretch, forehead comes to the mat, sits bones stay on the mat or on the block. Take a breath. Slowly begin to walk those hands back up. Let's warm up our wrists. Grab the four fingers on your right hand, pull them in towards you underneath that forearm. Just a forewarning, my kid is at her friend's behind us and she's swimming. So she'll probably be coming home during me recording just so you don't get startled when the door pops open. <laughs> Cause I sure do every time. All right, grab those four fingers and pull them back over that forearm. Take a breath. And take it to the other side. Left hand, pull the four fingers under the forearm. Feeling that nice wrist stretch. I wish I had done this in all of my videos that you learn as you go on, you know? Four fingers over that forearm. Take a breath. And do a couple wrist circles. And reverse, warming up those wrists. Hands, make big, wide, webbed fingers. Bring them into a fist. Wide fingers. Bring them into a fist one more time. Stretch those fingers out and bring them into a fist. Okay. 
let's get this show on the road. <laughs> All right, move your block to the side. We most likely will use them at some point in the practice. Keep them nearby. Again, if you don't have them, don't sweat it. We don't need it. We'll work, we'll work around it. Knees come under in tabletop, under your hips. Hands come under your shoulders. Open up those fingertips as wide as you can. And that goes for any position that you're on your wrists. The wider you open your hands, the less strain is on your wrists. Go ahead and bring that right leg out. The ball of the foot comes to the mat. Push back with your heel. Take a breath. Feeling that stretch in that calf. And we're going to lift up that right leg. Square those hips. Tighten the core. Deep breath in. And rainbow taps. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue marrying the breath to the movement. Making a nice point. Like a V. Upside down V, I guess you would say. So I'm coming over that opposite leg, tapping my toe on either side of that leg. Really utilizing that glute and keeping my core tight. And breathing. And three, two, one. Back to neutral, tabletop. Feeling that glute come alive. Bring that left leg back, ball of the foot to the mat, push back with that heel, feel that nice stretch in your calf. If your wrists begin to bother you, start to grasp at the mat with your fingertips. That should take some pressure off the wrists. And lift that left leg, tighten the core, square those hips, deep breath in, and we're going to do our rainbow taps. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Start marrying the breath. Try to keep the upper body as still as you can. Make sure you're breathing. And three, two, one. Come back to your tabletop. Cat cow. We're going to open up into cow. Arching our back. Roll those shoulders open. Chin lifts. Inhale. Exhale. Round through that back. Into cat pose. Like a scared Halloween cat. You want to really round through that back. Coming back through to cow pose. Breathe in. And then exhale, cat pose. One more time. Breathe in, exhale. Round it through, coming back to central. Let's curl our toes under. Slowly begin to rise with your hips, coming into your first downward dog. Making sure both arms are rotated out. Feet are hip distance apart. Start pedaling those feet out. Stretching through the backs of those legs. Breathing. And lift that tailbone towards the sky. We're gonna take a deep breath in. And exhale. Step it up to the front. Switching it up on you today. Come into your first forward fold. Micro bend in your knee. Activate those quads. Tighten your core. Bring more weight into the balls of your feet than in your heels. Helping lift your tailbone up towards the sky. Upper body hangs heavy. Take a breath. And let's slowly begin to rise, one vertebra at a time. Breathe in, head comes up last, exhale, arms overhead, hands to heart. 
Breathe in, arms overhead. I'm gonna grab my right wrist with my left hand. Exhale, so inhale in the center. Exhale over to the left. Hips come out to the right. Coming back through center, keep that spine long. Right hand grabs left wrist. Inhale in the center, exhale. Bring it over to the right, hips come out to the left. Keep that chest open. And come back through center. Arms can come down. Bring your arms or your hands to the lower part of your back. Small micro bend in those knees. We're gonna do a small back bend. We're gonna push out with our hip bones and slowly begin to come into a small, emphasis on small, back bend. So we're gonna breathe in. Pushing forward with those hips. Open that chest, shoulder blades come together. Exhale. Slowly rise, be very gentle with your neck, and arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, bring it right down, forward fold. That back knee, that stretch. Let's bring hands to the mat. Come into your first plank. High plank. Dropping your knees down and lifting those feet is a modification anytime we're in plank. If you're in high plank, push back with your heels. Make sure your butt's not perked up and your hips are not sagging. By doing so, you can tuck your pelvis just slightly to ignite your core. Take a few breaths. Feeling the shape. And come right into your downward dog. Walk it out. Breathing. And tuck that tailbone up towards the sky. Sink those heels down. We're going to lift our right leg. Three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it up towards your chest. Coming forward in a plank position. Step it between those hands. If you need to help it up, go for it. Hands frame that foot, lower down on that back knee, flatten the back foot. Squeeze in your inner thighs, slowly begin to rise. You can also help. Take a breath. Hands are on your thighs now. Pushing off on that thigh, opening your chest, looking up towards the sky. Breathing, sinking into that front hip just a little more. Keeping those hips square to the front. Tighten that core. One more breath. And frame that foot. Left hand on the inside of that right foot. And we're gonna slowly open that right arm to the sky. Make sure that hip stays in line. Make sure it doesn't pop out or in or up. Take a breath. Bring that hand down behind you, looking over that thumb. Lift up on that back foot. See if you can grab that foot. Sinking back into the front hip. If you need to pop up on your fingertips to give you some more height, go for it. Just breathe, feeling that nice stretch in your leg. Being gentle with your body at the same time working almost every muscle in your body. Slowly, gently release that back leg Frame the front leg, hands come flat to the mat, lift up on that back leg, slide the front leg back to your plank. Chaturanga, if 
you need to modify, again, drop your knees down, lift those feet. Then keep elbows in at your side. If you're okay, breathe in, come forward on your tippy toes. Exhale, elbows come in at your side. Flip your feet, open up, upward facing dog. Elbows straighten, shoulders can roll open. You can slightly lift your chin up to the sky if you'd like. We're gonna inhale and slowly exhale, beginning to come down to your belly. Onto the mat. Bring your right arm out to the side, like your half of a letter T. And your left hand's gonna come under your shoulder. I'm gonna slowly begin to push off, rolling to my right side. And I'm gonna bring my left foot behind me. Left ear can come to the mat. You can keep your hand or your fingertips on the mat. Or for a little bit more of a chest opener, you can bring that left hand behind your back and breathe. Bringing that left hand back to the mat. Straightening our legs, slowly rolling onto our belly. Left arm comes out to the side now, right arm, right hand comes under that shoulder. Right, left ear is on the mat. It wouldn't be a Katie video without messing up my right and left, right? Slowly begin to turn to your left side. Right ball of your foot or toe touches the ground behind you. You can use that hand to keep you steady. Or for a little bit more of a chest opener, bring that right hand behind your back. And breathe. If you feel any pain, please back off. And again, feel free to sit out of any positions that you feel are a little too much. Bringing that hand back to the mat and legs straighten, turning onto our belly. Let's turn onto our right side, bringing our right arm above our head utilizing that arm as a pillow. Left hand comes in front as a kickstand. You might be a little wobbly, totally normal. We're gonna have a small bend in our knees and I'm gonna keep the insides of my feet together like they're glued together and I'm gonna open my knees. And I want, I want it to feel like somebody put a 10 pound weight on that leg that you're lifting. So I'm opening my knees, kind of like a clamshell, but I'm really utilizing the resistance in my top leg that's lifting. This is a Pilates move. You'll find a lot of Pilates and yoga is incorporated into each other. Slow, controlled movements. All right, straighten those legs. Roll back onto your belly. Right hand under your right shoulder. Bring that left arm out right over your head. Begin to turn and use that left arm as your pillow. Right hand can come in front like a kickstand. Legs are nice and long. We're perfectly straight on our mat. Bring them in just slightly, small bend. Glue the insides of your feet together. Imagine, imaginatively. And we're gonna just open the knees like a clamshell's opening. And act like you have like a 10 pound weight on that top leg that's trying to push it down but you're resisting against it and opening it. 
You'll feel this on the inside of your thigh. You'll feel this on the outer side of your thigh, hip bone, glute, your quad, that entire region, that entire booty region. Do a couple more. And right hand comes to the mat. Turn back to your belly. Hands come under your shoulders. Curl the toes under. Lift those kneecaps. And let's come into our downward dog. Walking it up. Stretching those calves out. Pedaling those feet. Just warming them up. Tailbone tips up to the sky. Nice straight spine. We're going to inhale and lift the left leg. And then exhale, bring it forward. Give yourself some height. Step it up. Lower on the back leg. Flatten that foot. By squeezing the inner thighs together, slowly lift, bringing those hands interlaced on top of that thigh. And just begin to push off, opening your chest while sinking into that front hip. Looking up towards the sky. Big inhale. Exhale. One more breath. And right hand comes on the inside of that left foot. We're going to twist it open, left hand towards the sky. Keeping that hip in line, take a breath. Looking up towards the sky, we begin to bring that hand down behind us, looking over that thumb. Lift up on that back leg if you can and grab that foot, stretching it in towards your glute. You can also pop up on those fingertips to give you some height, feeling that stretch in your quad and even in my my entire leg, really, and my lower back. I'm feeling a stretch. Take a breath. Gently release that back leg. Frame that front foot. Hands come flat on the mat. Lift up on the back leg. Slide that leg right back into your plank. Come right into your downward dog. Pedal out for a moment. Take a breath. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Tucking that tailbone up towards the sky. Nice, long, straight spine. Deep breath in. Right leg comes high. Exhale, bend that knee. Heel towards your glute. Hips open up. Arms stay square to the front of the mat. We're going to breathe in. Right knee to right elbow. Exhale. Right knee to left elbow. Exhale, breathing in through center. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale through center. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Come back up to three-legged dog. Big inhale. Exhale, bring it up. Shoulders come over those hands. Step it up. Push back on that back heel. All four corners of that front foot evenly on the mat. Squeeze those inner thighs. Slowly rise. Interlace those hands. Start pushing off on that thigh. Sinking into the front hip. Pushing back on that back heel. Looking up to the sky. Take a breath. Feeling those legs shake. Left hand comes on the inside of that right foot. Right arm twists open. Keep that hip in line. Tighten that core. Breathe. 
Right hand comes down behind, look over that thumb. And let's do a couple arm circles. Nice big wide arm circles. Reverse. And frame that foot. Slide that front foot back to your plank. Take a breath. Come right into your downward dog. Walk it out. Pedal those feet. Take a big breath. Oh, there she is. I'm recording, so be quiet. Oh, gee, that's great. So you came in here for absolutely no reason. That's great. All right, go ahead. Don't come back in for another 20 minutes, okay? Okay. Thank you. Oh, gee, thanks for sliding the door. That was so peaceful. Okay, where were we? Walking it out, walking it out. On our next breath in, left leg comes high, three-legged dog. Exhale, open it up, hips open up, heel towards your glutes. Keep those arms square to the front. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Keeping that knee down, Breathing in through center, exhale, bring it over to the right elbow. Come through center, inhale, exhale, left elbow. Come through center, inhale, exhale, right elbow, right elbow. Let's come back to our three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, bring it in. Give yourself some height, step it up, high lunge. Push back on that back heel. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Slowly begin to rise. Interlace those hands on that thigh. Start pushing back, sinking into that hip, looking up towards the sky, opening that chest. One more breath. Right hand on the inside of that left foot, left arm, up to the sky, looking up towards that hand, take a breath, left hand comes down behind you, look over that thumb, take a breath, and give me a couple arm circles, nice big arm circles, two one way, two the other, framing that front foot, Slide that front foot back to your plank. Knees come down. Widen the knees, toes touch. The wider you make your knees, the more your hips sit back, the more your chest can come towards the mat. Wide-legged child's pose. Take a deep breath. One more deep breath. And slowly roll up. Close in one knee, then the other, coming back to your tabletop. Curl the toes under, lift those hips right into downward dog. Walk it up. Take a breath. We're gonna step up the right foot, step up the left foot to the front of our mat. Feet hip width apart, come right into your forward fold. Applying what we know, activating the quads, small bend in your knee, lift tailbone towards the sky by bringing a little bit more weight to the balls of your feet, letting the top half of you hang heavy, hands can be wherever you want, I mean, wherever is comfortable, maybe they're down by the sides of your feet, maybe they're flat on the mat, maybe they're just hanging. Doesn't matter. We just want to open up that lower back. Take a breath. And let's slowly begin to rise one vertebra at a time. Deep breath in. Head comes up last. Exhale. Standing in our mountain pose. 
Left hand on your heart, feeling that heart rate. And now we do some balance poses. We haven't done, we've done eagle pose recently, I know that. We've done some warrior threes recently. We have not done dancer's pose in a while. So let's try that. Maybe you get your block as a tool, because so we're gonna need it soon. Again, if you don't have a block, it's all good. All four corners of that left foot come to the mat. Remember, make your feet organic to your body, meaning I, I'm never gonna tell you to have your feet straight, facing straight in front, because for some people that brings your kneecaps in. So if that doesn't feel right to you, stand how you normally stand every day, but just stand up tall. You can keep your feet how you normally stand, because that means your knees are in line with your hips, with your anatomy. So standing up nice and tall, shoulders over your hips, hips over your ankles, tailbone is tucked under slightly, core is nice and tight. It's not, you don't have to tighten it like this so you can't breathe. It's just a very self-aware tightening of the core. It's just a small tightening of the core just so you know it's there. You'll feel it slightly. It's not so much that you can't breathe, if that makes sense. Breathe in, hands come to your heart. We're gonna slowly begin to lift that right knee. Start trying to find a focal point a few feet in front of you. We're gonna stretch that right leg back, lifting the kneecap of your left foot. Your feet are gonna wobble, your ankles are, your ankles are gonna wobble, but as long as your four corners of that foot are evenly on the mat, it's okay. You're gonna learn how to kind of work with the wobble. I feel like that's gonna be a, a Katie yoga quote. Things Katie says in yoga. You gotta work with the wobble. All right, we're gonna bring that hand on the inside of that foot. And as we do so, we're gonna slowly lift, keeping our focal point, lift that leg, front body comes forward. You can feel for your block or if you need to rise back up and you're wobbling maybe you have a a wall use the wall if you need to stop and start again feel free maybe you do a mudra keeping your focus take one more breath and slowly release shake those legs out Coming back into our standing position. Right foot, all four corners come to the mat, nice and even. Hands can come to your heart, left knee begins to rise, finding your focal point. Bringing that left leg behind, stretching that glute, stretching that quad. Take a breath. Tighten that core. Once you find your focal point and you feel like your balance is good, start to walk that hand on the inside of that foot. And slowly start lifting that leg towards the sky. And maybe you hold on to your block, fingertips on the block to give you some added assistance or maybe a mudra wherever you are slowly come out of it shake it up left foot all four corners on the mat again still standing organically I cannot stand with my feet forward or my knees would be buckling in and that would not be good for my knees. So I just wanna make sure that my spine is healthy by standing up strong. Hands come to your heart. 
We're going to come right into our warrior three. See if you can bring your hands out in front. As you bring them into your heart, see if you can bring that knee right behind the front knee as you squat slightly. Stretching back out to your warrior three. Squat, bring the knee behind the knee. One more time, stretch it out, breathe in. Exhale. Squat it in. And then we're gonna come into warrior one. So your stance does not need to be as wide as it would in warrior two. Your hips might be still facing out a little. But we want our torso facing front. So we're gonna straighten that back leg by putting most weight on the outside of that foot. Lifting that kneecap. Bending on the front knee. Arms overhead, my torso is twisting to the front. My core is tight. Deep breath in, exhale. Small back bend. Coming back up, using the core. The more you use your core, the less strain it puts on your spine. Hands come to heart. We're gonna heel toe it, open. Now into your warrior two. If you have a block, keep it nearby because you might wanna use it in a couple poses. If not, fingertips work just as great. Again, weight coming onto the outside of the back foot. We don't want that knee coming over the ankle in the front leg. Opening up. Warrior two, shoulders down away from your ears. Looking over that middle finger, we're gonna breathe in. Reach it front, exhale, bring that right arm over right ear. Take a breath. Open up, warrior two. Coming right into your exalted or peaceful warrior. Breathing. Looking up towards the sky. Don't lose the bend in the front leg. Cartwheeling it right into your humble warrior. This is where your block comes in handy. Or you can use your forearm on your, on your thigh. But if you do have a block, open it up here. You can also place it flat to give yourself some more length and breathe. Slowly turning. Come onto the ball of the back foot. Squeezing the inner thighs. High lunge. See if you can come right back to your warrior three. You might need to push off on that back leg. That left leg might be shaking the hell. Shake it out. All right, let's take it to the other side. Right, right foot, right foot. All four corners on the mat. Took me a minute. Hands to heart, find your focal point. Take a breath. There's no rush. You feel that heart rate? Your heart rate is up. You're doing cardio, so we don't need to haul ass. Our body is getting what it needs. Hands to heart. Let's come right into our warrior three. See if you can stretch those arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart. And squat down just a little, bringing that knee behind. Breathe in. If you fall, try again. Breathe in, arms stretch out. Exhale, squat it in. Bring those knees together. Breathe in, stretch it out. Exhale, squat it in. Warrior three, coming into your warrior one. 
That back leg drops down. Stance is a little shorter than it would be in warrior two. Your hips might still be turned to the side, but we want that torso to come front. Tighten the core, arms overhead. Deep breath in, small back bend. Exhale, coming back through center. We're gonna heel toe our stance a little wider into your warrior two. Again, if you have a block, keep it handy for your humble warrior. Arms come out, flip that front palm, reach front, breathe in. Exhale, left arm comes over left ear, chest is open. Breathe in, open up, warrior two. Exhale, come right into peaceful warrior. Looking up to the sky, make sure you're breathing. And cartwheeling it right into your humble warrior. You can use your block. You can also place the forearm on the thigh. Wherever you are, make sure you're breathing. I'm going to slowly start to turn my upper body as I turn my back foot onto the ball of that foot. I feel like my stance is maybe still too wide for high lunge, so feel free to baby step it up, shortening your stance, slowly rise, high lunge, hands come to heart, breathe in, exhale, push off, come right back into your warrior three, your leg is probably shaking, and step it up, shake those legs out. You guys did so good. Just do what you can. Remember, there's nothing wrong with using a wall. Breathe in, arms overhead. Exhale, dive it down. Let's do a halfway lift. Straightening that spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come to the mat. Come into your plank. Knees come down. Humble, humble warrior. I'm, I'm losing it. Tabletop. I'm still, I'm still doing my warriors. Oi, oi, oi. Let's bring the knees under our hips. We're going to curl those toes under. Lift off just about an inch. Tighten that core. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to chest, bring it back, don't lower that knee. Inhale, exhale, knee to chest, don't lower that knee. Inhale, don't lower, keep going. Use the breath. Don't hold your breath. Keep those hands tucked under the glute. 
shifted slightly, rolling those shoulders open, keeping those knees before the hips. So we don't want to bring them over the hips. Keep them just before the hips. Deep breath in. Exhale. Knee to chest. Bring it out. Knee to chest. Bring it out. If your knee is far enough over your hips, this will really, oh, this will really, I was going to say open up the core. It's going to really ignite the core. It's really hard to talk while doing this. Stick with me. Don't give up. Remember, bikini, summer, beach, bikini, summer, six pack, bikini, summer, six pack, and three, two, one, lay back, stretch it out. morning stretch. Flexing those feet, keeping your arms overhead. Deep breath in, exhale, lift your left leg and your right arm, tap them and lower. Inhale, exhale, tap, opposite arm and leg and lower. Keep going, keep it slow. And controlled.
We're gonna do our splits. I'm trying to hurry this along so that it's not an hour long. I know people see an hour long video and they're like, oh my God, I'm not doing yoga for an hour. Well, most of it is just holding the stretches, like the flexibility poses we have to hold. Um, I like to do more of a flowy sequence and really move through with a flow and a pattern, but you know, when it comes to flexibility, you have to hold it. Otherwise, your muscles are not gonna remember to hold it in that position. They're not gonna remember that flex flexibility. So, I know it's, it takes time, but you know what, it's worth it in the end. Cause you're gonna be glad when you can do a split. Just saying. Take a deep breath, sink into that front right hip. One more breath, come into your runner's lunge. Staying up nice and high, flex that front foot. You can have a small bend in the knee if you need. Breathe. Coming back through to that front hip. Square those hips, sink into that front hip, breathe. The more you breathe, the more you give your body energy, the more you give your body relaxation. Inhale is energy, exhale is to relax. Come back to your runner's lunge one more time. Coming into neutral, inch back with that back leg. If you need a um, block to sit on, or if you don't have a block, just use your fingertips to hold yourself upright wherever you are. Make sure you're sitting up tall and that your spine is over your hips. Your upper body, your torso is over your hips. Breathing. To come out of it without hurting yourself, bring both hands over to the left side. I'm gonna lift off and I'm gonna bring the lower half of my back leg in. And then I'm gonna inch the knee in and then I'm gonna bring my toes and then my knee and then my toes until I can comfortably bring both legs together without hurting myself. Let's take it to the other side, left side. Again, you do not need blocks. Utilize your fingertips. Sinking into that front hip on the left side this time. Take a couple breaths. Start thinking about different um, postures and poses that you've um, benefited from and that you've grown in since starting this practice or maybe from starting from the beginning with me wherever you started from it's uh, it's pretty remarkable the change that you'll see in a short period of time come into your runner's lunge keeping that height you don't want to sink back you want to stay up nice and tall flex that foot long spine and breathe Come back, sinking into that front hip, breathing. I know this is long and it's painfully long, but it's, it's essential. I mean, I'm not even holding it for as long as you should. We should really be holding these for a minimum, a minimum of five breaths. And come back, runner's lunge, one more time. Breathing. Coming into neutral, I'm gonna inch back with my back leg, flatten that foot. I'm gonna bring a block to catch me and maybe a block to hold on to so that I sit upright. I'm gonna push forward with that heel and slide into my split. Again, keeping my torso over 
my hips. Facing front, breathing. Definitely much closer than I've ever been. And it's from our practice. I mean, I was not this close even last week, so. I know you guys are having improvements. I know you're seeing improvements in your body, in your technique, in your balance, in your strength, in your flexibility. So, very proud of you guys. Keep up the great work. Go ahead and bring both hands to the right side this time. I'm gonna lift up slightly and slide that lower half of the leg in. And then I'm gonna bring my knee and then my toes and then my knee then my toes until I can safely bring both legs together. I'm gonna bring my blocks over to the side and let's come into our corpse pose before my lovely daughter comes in and interrupts that because that'll be fun. <laughs> let's slowly lay back, holding onto those legs, one vertebrae at a time. Legs come out long, find your nice, Comfortable corpse, adjust your booty, release any tension anywhere that you hold tension in your body. Close your eyes. I want you to sink into that mat and just take nice, long, deep breaths just for a few moments. If you want a longer corpse pose, go ahead and pause now and go for it. Deep breath in. Exhale. Oh man, I knew you were going to come in as soon as I did. Oh, yeah. I'm still recording. Thank you. I'm sorry, can you wait till I'm done? I'm almost done. Keep it down. Well, our corpse pose is ruined, so anyway, go ahead and uh, if you want to continue on, pause the video now and do your own corpse pose. I'm sorry I got interrupted. Let's go ahead and rock and roll, or you can do fetal position, closing your eyes, take a breath. Rise up. Coming into a seated position. <laughs> no. But can I finish, please? I'm almost done. Thank you. Come into your seated pose. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders down. Close your eyes. We're going to do two alms. Let's take a deep breath in. Uh. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for understanding my, my situation and embracing it anyways. I love you guys. Namaste. I'll see you tomorrow for day 18. With no interruptions. <laughs> Bye.